I'm Susan Koenig and this is Somatics for You. Today I'm going to do a series of short videos uh, dealing with pain and tension surrounding the sacroiliac joint. So the sacroiliac joints are right in here. I'm going to explain just a little bit about the sacroiliac joint and then in the following three short videos I'm going to be dealing with movement through the sacroiliac joints. One movement will be dealing with up-down movement. One video will be dealing with forward and backward movement, as in walking. And one video will be doing, uh, dealing with rotational movements where the sacroiliac joints close or compress or open and more space is created in the joint. The sacroiliac joints are deep and the joint itself is irregularly shaped. And it's uh, kind of hard to understand the sacroiliac joint because it is so deep. So here's the sacrum, which is the bottom of the spine. Here's the lumbar spine. These are, uh, this is an ilium bone, an ilium bone, and where the two ilium bones come together uh, at the sacrum, that's where the sacroiliac joint is. I'll show you from the front. <clears throat> so right here and right here, this is the sacrum, we're still at the sacrum. Here's one ilium bone, here's another ilium bone. And so, again, very deep in the body. The other thing about the sacroiliac joints are that they're not voluntary. If I ask you to move a hip, you contract some muscles and you move your hip in various configurations, no problem. Uh, you might have some pain and stiffness, but you can move the hip to some degree. But the sacroiliac joints are non-voluntary. If I say, move your sacroiliac joint, you kind of don't know what to do. And that is because the sacroiliac joint is moved by muscles contracting other joints. And as those joints move, movement is brought through in various configurations, is brought through the sacroiliac joints. So uh, the uh, sacroiliac joint is often, people will, is, is often a place of a lot of pain. People will often bring their hands back here and they go, oh, it hurts here, but it can hurt up here in the low back or what I'm calling the lumbar area. Sometimes the pain is even in the front of the hips. It can even be in the upper groin area. So this general area right through here is an area that a lot of people experience a lot of pain and discomfort, stiffness in the joints, a lot of tension. So uh, now I'm going to be uh, demonstrating in the three subsequent videos, I'm gonna be demonstrating some movements that you can do to help release the pain and tension. We are doing these movements pendicularly as we've done before. What that means is that uh, pendiculation, a technique created by Thomas Hanna, my teacher who created Hanna Somatic Education, worked with the part of the brain called the motor cortex that can really release the tension and extra chronic contraction in these muscles. So the first part of the movement will be to contract the muscles that wakes up the motor cortex and tells the motor cortex of the brain where to focus. And then the second part is the slow release with control out of the contraction to, new, to neutral. And it is the second part that is the most important part of the movement. And that's the part that really allows the muscle to um, release its excess tension. So now I'll go ahead and demonstrate the movements associated with the sacroiliac joint that I like to teach uh, people in my classes and my clients to help release pain and tension in this whole general area. Thank you.